Hey you guys, welcome back. I'm here to do your Twin Flame Collective Reading. I am Raina Wells and I'm a medicine woman and highly intuitive. You're, you're new. Welcome to my new viewers and my returning subscribers. Please don't be shy here. I love to interact with you guys. We're here to have some fun as well. So let's, uh, let's get started. This is the Twin Flame Collective for this week. It is timeless whenever you watch this. We're going to start off with some oracles. I was getting pulled to start off with some messages to see where the balance is between masculine and feminine energy. Oh, I have a card that was stuck in there, which was the swan card from the last time I used this. So, but... That might be significant, but I'm not going to take it right now. So let's take a look. Spirit, please bring through the energies from the creator, from the one, all that is, that is perfectly alignment to the earth. What is going on here? I've got all these mixed up cards and I shuffled. <laughs> this always happens to me. The horse. So I used these in a reading the other day, too, so that's really funny that that's showing up. Okay, let's take a look. What are the divine messages here? So, oh, my card fell down. What are these divine messages here? What is the masculine here towards the feminine right now? Thank you, Spirit. What is going on? Okay, we have him in a completely balanced area here. We're going to read those messages in a bit, and the divine feminine right now update for this week spirit for the collective totally in her power okay so let's see where he's at he's feeling divine feminine energy here i feel you denying our connection deep within the mutually oops sorry deep within we mutually meet and the more you repress the more i purge for our one soul please heal as a sacred feminine i can't keep help but feel you it's how we were created as one so what I'm getting from this is divine masculine is purging where he's been disconnected from the feminine for a long time. Divine feminine, you may have been, you know, really focused on yourself, moving on in your path, allowing whatever manifestations are coming through to come through. You're allowing it. And what's happening here is this masculine, as you're moving away in that vibration, it's really allowing him to connect to you and re recognize the connection within himself. And he's saying, like, I can feel you denying this, Divine Feminine. Like, I'm feeling you. I I'm purging. So he's in a place of massively purging um, the connection. And, and I'm going to bring this up because, like, when when uh, my twin and I first came into union, whenever he brought up toxicity, I immediately had to go to the bathroom and throw up. Like, it's that potent with us. And in an ayahuasca ceremony, when he would purge, um, or when he would, no, he wouldn't even purge. He would be sitting there. I would purge for him. And he would purge immediately after. So there's a connection that the one soul purges for the other as well. That's a twins mirror. And this masculine is, uh, I feel the intuition is picking up a lot here with this masculine that came up in the, uh, 10 minute read today about the masculine running away from karmic energy. So there is something that he's feeling here. Um, I can't help but feel you. It's how we were created as one. So you can't help this now. It's it's just the the <laughs> what I'm seeing is like the 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 dam has broken. The waters are running loose, guys. Okay. He's in his masculine energy. Yes, the music you hear is me sending you my love. So there's definitely a lot of messages coming in the music, you guys. Pay attention. He's trying to send messages through music. Okay, divine feminine. Let's see where Divine Feminine is at. Wow, look how they're mirroring. It worries me that I can't feel you. I'm starting to learn to take care of myself in these deep spaces of abandonment. So Divine Feminine is going through very similar energy. He's feeling the Divine Feminine. So Divine Feminine, you're going through your own transformation. You're purging your own uh, things. You're working on yourself of abandonment. And because you're doing that, this masculine is feeling you. So that's confirmation there of this mirrored soul. And... We have here Divine Feminine. I can't stop thinking about you. It's like you are here beside me. It's driving me a bit bonkers. So you may be feeling your masculine because he's he's connected to you now. He recognizes who you are. That's what's been coming up in the readings and the little shorts that I've been doing. And so there, and, and Divine Feminine is going through a 
purge this week is what I'm seeing, a, a, a leveling up. And because of that, your masculine is trying to connect with you. You're feeling it, but you're trying to focus on yourself as well. And it's driving you a little bit nuts there, Divine Feminines. Masculine saying, can we talk? That's, oops. That was there at the top of the deck. Okay. The Divine Feminine says, I wish we could talk. So I wanted to show you guys that as well. So, all right, let's see what else is coming through here, Spirit, for the collective. What else do you want me to pull? Yeah, let's do, let's do some of these right now. This is what I'm feeling. What is going on for Divine Masculine Energy? We're going to clarify with Tarot in a bit first, but let's see what's going on with the Oracles first. What's going on with Divine Masculine and Divine Feminine? The collective read for this week, Spirit. What is going on? This is Divine Masculine. Came out pretty quick. He's learning to reconnect with his childhood innocence. So there's two there's two children here too he feels his divine feminine because he's connected to the feminine again so there's definitely an innocence he's communion with god the eagle the agila the father spirit so this is really strong ancient grandfather spirit energy coming through the masculine the, the divine intelligence of the masculine here he is sitting here in communion with spirit meditating praying doing what he needs to do and this light is coming in see how this portal is opening up and this light is shining down on both of them there's two beams of light here coming through and shining on both of them and this masculine is completely feeling this energy here so he's really at a place of coming into union with spirit hey <laughs> i'm gonna do this I'm like right here guys and let's see what's going on for Divine Feminine. Okay, we have two as well. Movement. See, she's moving in her calling here. She's blowing down the river. I don't know what I'm getting that, but she's definitely moving down the river. We've got a lot of water. She's really in her emotions this week, guys. Divine Feminine really flowing, letting it flow, letting the purge happen, working on yourself, being in that beautiful emotional space, allowing what's happening and owning yourself and allowing spirit to take you where you need to go. And because you're doing this effortlessly and you're working on yourself, it's allowing the masculine to come into a deeper space of knowing. Let's see how they're connecting right now. How are the Divine Masculine and Divine Feminine connecting? Whoa. Quite a bit here. Wow, quite a bit here. <laughs> quite a bit. Let's get a message too with how they're connecting. That's what I want to do as well too. What are, are how are the divine masculine and the divine feminine connecting right now, Spirit? How are the divine feminine and the divine masculine connecting right now? Okay, we've got one for each. That's what I was feeling. What's gonna happen? Um so this is how they're connecting divine masculine to the feminine our love has taught me to feel again thank you for being you so yeah he has been feeling this connection completely okay and uh, divine feminine i love god and where god leads me i trust spirit will lead me back into your arms i want us but i surrender it all to great spirit and this is beautiful because that's exactly how she's flowing in this river and these water emotions here this week she's really um stepping it up here and being in her truth so um it's allowing this love to flow between the two okay it's allowing the two to uh really come into a deeper place of knowing and this is where they're connecting guys activation has happened in the wind energy we have volatility a lot of sacral powerful passionate energies coming through if you've been feeling that that's what's happening there's movement that's wand energy that's action that's like actually because it says activation but it's action it's like father grandfather spirit coming in this is what i was feeling coming in with the mask the divine masculine energy coming in and erupting things in the divine feminine look at how this is beautiful this is like masculine and this is like feminine remember feminines aren't just kind and loving and whatever we have fire you have to create volcanoes and eruptions and earthquakes uh in order to birth something new and look there is a feminine i've never noticed that there is a feminine face coming out of that smoke she is releasing she is flowing she's allowing all of this emotion to just be what it is and this masculine is coming in with this wind here 
So this is a beautiful divine type of connection with both of them. Look at this. Love is emerging. Okay, love and dragonfly compassion, this union, these two hands. Oh my God, this is beautiful. And this is what's happening in the energies, right, guys? So there's a massive transformation. Two dragonflies are here too, if you see. There's two. Well, there's one here, but this is like spirit, like the, the third energy. You need three energies to lead in the new world, right? Twin flames. You always have Vishnu, Brahma, Shiva, right? The father, the son, the Holy Spirit. Mother or father, uh and Holy Spirit, you have, uh, oh, there's always three that lead the way, you know, uh, three deities, three gods, three energies, and that's the Holy Trinity. And this is the same thing, God's love with the two coming together, the two dragonflies, and the third one here emerging out of this water, a new beginning. Um, really coming into, you know, in the Lotus, the Lotus has been coming up a lot lately in my readings with my clients. It's, you know, you have to go through the muck. If you look at how a lotus grows, that you have to be submerged in complete darkness in order to rise into this beautiful blossoming flower. So there's a lot of love here. There's a lot of transformation. The divine feminine is really releasing, allowing. She's not clinging. She's not controlling. She's transmuting. And the masculine is coming in and doing the same type and, and being activated by how she is surrendering and allowing and moving. So this is really beautiful energy. Let's see what is going on for divine masculine towards the divine feminine. Let's move this a bit so we can make some room for when I clear when I clarify with tarot it's gonna be like all over the place right so let's do that and just move this so we have some room here so that's masculine that's feminine that's how they're meeting each other okay let's take a look what is going on for the divine masculine please spirit what is going on for the divine masculine this week for my v beautiful viewers, if you guys want a reading and you're liking this and it's resonating with your situation, send me an email. I'm still running emails for June. I'm emails. I'm still running readings for June. <laughs> yeah, I'm running emails for June, guys. Um, yeah, hit me up. All right, let's see. What is going on with Divine Masculine Energy? Ooh, here go the birds. Divine Masculine Energy. One more for the... Okay, I got more than one. So let's see what's going on. We have inner journey. So yeah, he's gotten into that ship and he's moving towards uh, the light. He's following his light. He's following his intuition. He's gained his staff of truth. He is moving um, with the ship. Okay, wherever the ship may have taken him, he's may have, maybe have gotten off and he's moving in his own light. He's uh, definitely on this inner journey here. Okay, we have the karmic wheel wow this is completely ending and look at this this is completely in a place of uh communion here look he's speaking to spirit he's surrendering karmic energies look at that wheel he's like i ain't dealing spirit you need to lead me because i don't know what the hell i'm doing i'm surrendered here he's got a red flag you know he's like i give up sos i'm give up like i'm done he's surrendered this this karmic energy is completely coming to a halt here. Yeah, he's saying yes to this twin flame journey. He's saying yes to spirit. He's like, you know what? I'm transforming. Let's do it. Let's bring it. Let's do it. Let's bring it. <laughs> I don't even know why I have my card here. Let's put it there. <laughs> um, again, dragonfly. Is that dragonfly? I thought it was dragonfly again different perspectives. So now he sees differently. He's had to see the lower realms before he could see the higher realms. And, and I talk a lot about this. You have to know contrast. You can't know light without dark. You can't know dark without light. And so he's had to go between these two realms and now he's seeing all of it completely. Okay. Um, he's very burnt out guys, completely burnt out. This is all new to me and I'm feeling quite overwhelmed. So he's, he's really tired on this journey. It, he's that's why he's completely surrendered he can't hold the control that he was holding in the past he can't be how he was before this has completely affected him this karmic situation and he's surrendered it to spirit he wants love he's been activated he can't uh deal with anything that isn't love anymore okay they're they're emerging they're coming together let's see what is going on with divine feminine yeah thank you spirit what's going on with divine feminine towards the masculine
quite a bit too. Whoops. Well, we got a little bit more for Divine Feminine. I'm working on my inner issues. Very good, Divine Feminine. We're seeing that. There, she's working on her stuff. She's flowing with the, with the with her emotions. She's allowing spirit to take her as well. They're both completely in a mirrored, surrendering place right now. Completely. Both of them are. And uh, that's a nine as well. The inner journey here. That's a nine. So they're both mirroring, even in the same placement. Okay. To start off, I read in order as they come out as best as I can to go on this inner journey, a nine and a nine, okay? They're both nearing a completion of a massive transformation here. We have prisoner. This divine feminine was feeling trapped, and however she was feeling trapped, we've got, you know, these parrots. Parrots are gossipers. It could be there was a community, people gossiping, being trapped, being taunted, being, you know, people like, you're crazy, what are you doing? This path is stupid. You know, Divine Feminines get it all. Like, if you're not on this Twin Flame journey, you're just not on the Twin Flame journey. And um, it's a hard one to accept, right? And it's like, while you're on this, like, people mock you. Parrots are gossipers. They mock. You should see how they are here, like, in Guyana. They just live naturally in the trees. Like, they beat, like, in birds, they beat up on each other. Like... <laughs> It's like a whole other drama, guys, watching the birds out here. It's like, you don't need TV. It's like, why aren't Young and the Restless out on the friggin' trees? Like, and this is what they're doing. Gossiping about this divine feminine. She's a, she's a goddess. She's a cat, right? Cats, if you have Leo in your chart. But she's, you know, awakened. She's aware. And they're like, ha, ha, ha. She thinks she's so awakened. She thinks she knows what she's doing. And blah, 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 blah. Bite me. Seriously. Yeah, I know that this is a, she knows the truth. She knows this fire and this water element, the steam that they create, the the energy that they create. She knows that it's a holy divine connection completely. And she's not backing down on that. She knows. So she's standing in her truth. She's allowing the purge to happen. And people that have maybe gossiped about her or done things to her or keeping her trapped in this case, she's like, no more. I am not dealing with that stuff anymore. You can go where you need to go. I'm not dealing with you. I thought there were plenty more fish in the sea. So she may have gone off and dated and tried to find other things as well. But if you notice, if you're really meant to be with your twin, nothing works out. It's like, what? I mean, the I'll tell you guys, the last person I was, man, I was intimate with last year had a freaking heart attack and then called me a witch and told me that I should never read, a, read palms again. Like, <laughs> like... Okay, so I guess I can't do that now, but this is what divine feminines go through. It's like, it's just, it's not that it's not the same. It's just, because nothing's going to be the same as your twin, but it's like, oh my God, it's like a repeated cycle. It's like, I've been there, done that. How many times do I have to keep doing this? Like, this is the same karmic shit that I go through. And Divine Feminines may have had to go through her own karmic lessons. May not have been a third party, but whatever it is in regards to your own life, your own karmic lessons in order to and untrap yourself out of here and work on those deep issues. And as you're doing that, Divine Feminine is helping the masculine end his karmic cycles as well. I'm waiting for the right time to be transparent with you. So Divine Feminine is coming into a place like, yes, I want communication. Yes, I want to be in this connection. But am I really ready? She's looking at divine timing here. She's like, I'm unraveling here. <laughs> like, who this is, is po this, I didn't think this was po that potent. We have deadly sin. So she's walking through her own purification process. And she's like, am, am I ready now for this? is like he seems to be coming right he's got a new perspective on this but i'm kind of walking through some of my own stuff right now like is this something that i can be transparent can i be transparent about my gifts can i be transparent about all of this energy work with my twin is this something that i can actually do like um what about my own situation i'm in a situation myself with somebody else you know I might be with somebody and we're having a hard time or I'm having a hard time at work and my foundation, my finance, whatever it is, there's something unraveling with the divine feminine. She's working through her own stuff. I'm going to pull one more for the divine masculine because we got six here for divine feminine. I'd like to get one more for the divine masculine to see because he's burnt out too. He's kind of really tapped in. I'm seeing the energy swap this week that he's more 
uh, feeling feminine energy and the divine feminine is feeling masculine energy because she's going through a purge. He's noticing synchronicities here. Three, three, Christ consciousness. So there's definitely, um, he may be getting feathers, but he's getting messages from heaven and he's following them. So because he's following, falling more into his feminine and trusting spirit and falling, following that intuition. I'm sorry if you hear anything downstairs. Um, there's definitely something happening in regards to divine feminine realizing that she's got an action. Now that volcano, things are releasing for her. She's transmuting things. Okay. She's not feeling the connection as much. Um, hold on. Sorry about that guys. Yeah. So the divine feminine is totally like erupting and allowing things to flow. And because she's finally going through this purge here and unraveling, it's really shifting the connection in a really profound way. It's helping the masculine to discover his feminine side within him. And it's allowing the feminine energy to discover that she can move through these dark energies. She can action things in her life. She can be that masculine force um, to make things change in her life. That she has that power. She has this firepower. Let's see how the twins are connecting and their energies together how are the masculine and feminine what are the mutual energies that they're in how they're connecting spirit for the twin flames this week oh dark night of the soul guys so both of you are going through this so you guys are parallel you're running exactly the same and you're trying to find you know it's taking you you're seeing the gates of heaven here so it's not that it's not in your vision union is you know there you've got this like leap here this this bridge here which is really interesting if you look at this it's like you've got this this path to, like you could fall to the pits of hell it's almost like this is where divine feminine is at it's like okay i'm seeing i'm seeing this happening i'm feeling the energy i gotta jump over this now i've got to like before i fall into the pits of hell to get to this point and it was, and then it's like the devil's waiting for me and the masculine is on the same is at the same place i feel that he he is um right there standing it's like you think you that's called a kiss kiddie bird kiss kiddie. <laughs> thank you for interrupting um that they're both standing on this ledge like okay who's gonna go first like who's jumping in first i feel divine feminine's doing it um let's see what else is coming through what is the union energy between the two? One more spirit. Yeah, about their ego and their pride. It's about uh, death to the old here. Okay, so yeah, please forgive me. Forgiveness moving forward. Putting an end to old ways of being. Putting an end to the ego. Putting an end to what may have kept you stagnant in the past. It's not helping anymore. And um, yeah. It's really pushing the two of you into a whole new realm. So I'm going to pull some tarot because I'm seeing a balancing act that's really happening here between the two. And yeah, it's actually really beautiful of how these two are mirroring each other now because you're both at the same point of taking a major leap of faith. That's why I'm trying to find the deck that I want. Taking a major leap of faith into a new direction that you've never done before and however that looks in your life you know that it's a new vibration it may be a little scary as well and that's why the purge is happening i'm going to use my deck to clarify the cosmic tarot let's take a look what is going on for divine masculine and divine feminine energy spirit what is going on for the divine masculine and the divine feminine energies What is going on this week in the collective, please, Spirit, for Divine Masculine and Divine Feminine energies? Thank you. Okay, so let's take a look and see what is going on with the Divine Masculine. So we're seeing that he is really at a place of ending massive karmic situations. His intuition has picked up. He's really at a place of transformation. He's saying yes to this calling. He's saying yes to the journey. He's completely tired, but his precision and his perspective and his precision is what i'm getting precision and spirit is saying his direction he's very precise he knows what he's going for even though he's burnt out he is doing this okay what is going on for divine masculine please energy whatever needs to come out my 
feel a little, he's a little hesitant, guys. He's a little hesitant still, which is why this is coming out. Okay. So we have the Six of Cups in reverse. So this came up in the reading earlier today um, that he's closing off the past wherever, you know, his loyal heart was leading him, his, you know, his innocence was leading him, not knowing that it was taken to this dark castle. <laughs> it's like, where am I going? Um, he's closing it off. He's, he's, he's not returning to past events anymore. He doesn't want that vibration anymore. So he's definitely closing off the past here. We have here the two of swords in reverse with the queen of swords in reverse. So he's made a decision to open up his heart. He's made a decision to um, look at where he's been blocking divine feminine energies, why new things weren't rebirthing for him. And he's really getting, um, she's barefoot here, you know, being vulnerable, showing, you know, that, um, that leg, you know, that one leg, that, that skin starting to reveal himself and realizing who his divine feminine is. He's pushed that away. And so he's realizing that he's He's got to be open to this connection. We have a card for each. Yeah, because he's pushed Divine Feminine away here. We have the Empress in reverse with the Hermit in reverse and the Eight of Swords. So he was really trapped um, in regards to old ways of thinking. He was really at a place of, you know, that crossroads here um, in his own mind and entrapment. So he's gone within. He... He's also, but the hermit I'm getting with this hermit in reverse is not just waking up, coming out of his cave. What I, I know that's a generic way of reading it, but what I'm also feeling is like there was a resistance of even going within is what I'm getting. His resistance to go into that cave with this connection because of his own um, mind and his ego and his own entrapments of that pride. And so because he was resisting going into that cave, it pushed the divine feminine away and he's now unblocking certain things. He's just starting to unblock that energy and close off the past. And he's realizing his ego and the dark night of the soul that he has to put an end to this old way of being. Let's clarify that entrapment. He's noticing his entrapment since he ended this with divine feminine three of cups in reverse, a friendship when they first got together, the, uh, maybe a community was involved, but I'm seeing that some of them could also have a drinking addiction or partying too much or um, just, you know, going out and having fun with all kinds of different people like that can be also a form of addiction and distraction. So this is uh, really that was keeping him trapped. And that's he's noticing that he can't he's too sensitive for that way of life. He can't be this partier. He has to bring karmic justice and make that decision. So that's what he's doing here. He knows very clearly that he was resistant to going into that hermit mode. That's why that King of Cups in reverse. It blocked him. He wasn't able to fully surrender and open himself up. He completely, it was blocked here with the hermit. And so he, he sees clearly now that that's what he was doing and how he was pushing away this karmic, uh, the... Sorry, I got two messages at the same time. Pushing away the Divine Feminine because he had to end this karmic situation with the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. Ending a marriage, ending a foundation, ending old family uh, lineage karma that was happening. He, he had to get rid of it here. Two of Wands in reverse, really making that decision. So he's not in the place of duality anymore. Back and forth, push and pull, which is great. He's really at a place of bringing this justice, really ready to surrender and open up his heart. We have the King of Cups and the Queen of Cups both in reverse here. So mirroring and knowing that he's exactly where his divine feminine is at as well he's feeling that divine feminine clarify the king and the queen of cups here what he knows about this connection he knows that there's abundance here that he has to be single in order to bring these two together he has to be uh stable yeah but he knows yeah the wheel is not going to turn with this toxicity here with the karma the devil okay it's not going to turn. It's not going to happen. This car, this, his abundance is not going to happen. He can't um, sit around and wait anymore. He has to become single in his life. He has to be a, independent in his life. He has to end addictions in his life. He has to end this toxicity. So he isn't quite out of the woods yet because the wheel hasn't quite turned. So he may still be dealing with other things. I know a lot of uh, my readings lately have been around karmic energy. So go check out those other readings because that, if you're in third party situation, that's probably something that's happening there. Let's take a look at divine feminine here. Because 
there uh, let's see how he actually let's see how he how is divine masculine with the union energies here that's happening with love haha <laughs> eight of wands he wants to move towards it so he knows what he wants his vision is there he knows what he wants now it's physical tangible action is what he needs to do um <clears throat> and that's probably that last spirit to show me that last that dark night here with this card of having to jump you have to actually that last is actually action messaging coming forward saying what you want before that gate of heaven before the two can ascend together so he's definitely in some type of movement and wanting to move and communicate towards divine feminine union yeah, passion feeling that fire having dreams okay so he's in a place of dreaming about her um wanting to create this fantasy beautiful world with her and actioning this um but he's still in a somewhat of a place of some kind of confusion still so it's not fully integrated into the 3d yet and there's not a, too much of pentacles here the pentacle card that came out is here is with this nine of pentacles here so that's bringing the king and queen of cups together that he knows that he has to he has to end certain things to make this tangible to be independent on his own and not depend on anybody that that's self mastery self actualization is the best gift you can give to anybody in your in your life your family your friends the collective your mission is self actualization actualization for yourself that takes a lot of hard work so he is doing that work okay so let's see divine feminine what is going on with the divine feminine here what is divine feminine what's going on with her in this connection I'm going to use these in the same order. And two more. Her challenge is the higher friend. Why is that? Because <laughs> she doesn't know what he wants. Okay. Can I get one more on that? Can I have it up? Okay. Ten of Swords. Okay. So divine feminine is really at a place of kind of being closed off a little bit she's hanging on to this but she knows hanging on is not working she has to come into alignment with her head and her heart in order to activate her foundation okay when your head and your heart are aligned it means that you can manifest anything and that's really what four pentacles is about is about setting that alignment so that you can move forward it's not just about being closed off and hanging on it's about pulling back and being reserved in yourself that's her inner work i'm doing my inner work so that she can build this foundation she's being very serious about herself she's not fighting anymore what people think of her that prisoner she's not fighting anything she doesn't give a crap anymore she's like i'm done fighting whatever i'm flowing in these emotions i'm allowing it to be open i'm allowing it to happen let's just do this and so she's healing and she knows that the separation is purifying her she's not you know she's really doing her best to surrender here and give it up to heaven and say yeah okay like i get it i can't control anything this is my dark night i have to like really finish up this last bit of what's holding me back to be my best self to be in my calling to like integrate this and uh, she's not fighting that anymore so she's blocking any other type of like third party situation or dating or find discovering herself outside of herself she's really in a place of just you know i'm powerful i want to discover more about me i need to learn more about me as a soul i need to know what these gifts are i'm not going to allow this stuff to bother me anymore and so she's really coming into a place of not seeking validation or anything outside of herself this is what's actually shifting a lot of this connection is because it's helping the masculine to become more independent because he knows that he has to bring this independence to the king and queen of cups together it's because divine feminine has pulled her energy back and she's focused on doing her work and coming into her own alignment she's making proper decisions yes this is ended but i'm not sure if i'm ready for this right now it's in divine timing i'm like now realizing more about what i need to do since this connection has ended i need to make proper choices in my life and how i can actually move forward i'm going to clarify that lovers as well in reverse yeah she needs to return to herself five of pentacles she was abandoning herself in a certain way either like dating other people or trying to run for this connection being angry with her divine masculine like projecting energy towards him or um you know it may not even be towards him or towards the karmic energy or towards the entire situation 
or not really looking at herself and what's going on in her life and she's really honed in and pulled her energy back she's also maybe people at work I'm getting for some people at work it's like being trapped and people talking about you and you're taking it to heart and you're like completely done divine feminine you're like people just don't get me they don't get this they don't understand my path I'm returning to myself because you know you're flowing you're being shown by spirit about your faith in this you know love in divine love you know divine love you know that this is meant for you and you're not allowing anyone to kind of take that away from you so this is about returning to yourself at the end here we have the ten of swords in reverse so this is a bit of a resistant to change okay we have the commitment the hierophant and the king of swords in a challenged position there's still some healing divine feminine here and not that the masculine doesn't have healing to do either but there is healing here for divine feminine about narcissistic energy the way that people have treated you about tradition about the system okay you're not going to fit into the system okay you're you're here to bring twin flames are here to open up a whole new way of being and living okay it's not just about love and romance and stuff it's about a mission it's about becoming um very strong in your gifts and knowing your gifts right and there's been somewhat of a resistance this is the deadly sin like am i this powerful and sometimes accepting your power is part of your worth and yeah if, especially if you resonate with my work you're magical okay like <laughs> you're magical let's just say that so it's like yeah like these deadly sins it's like it's making you it's it's showing you wow i've been resistant is this where my masculine has been resistant to about tradition and system and how things are supposed to be? Maybe I don't know how this is supposed to be. Let's clarify a little bit more. Clarify that for Divine Feminine. Yeah. The in and out in your own life, okay? The five of cups. Lots of changes for Divine Feminine this week, you guys. If you're feeling it, that's what's happening. Um, a lot of shifts, a lot of... Um, energies in regards to change coming coming over the regrets there's a lot of forgiveness on divine feminine side is what i'm seeing and not being this in and out passionate you know anger and, and all of that that's why she's releasing this volatility um she's releasing any of those energies so she can emerge in a brighter more divine way in her within herself um she's not fighting anymore and she's definitely healing so there's definitely yeah she's she's been stuck things may not have been moving in her life and realizing you know they're not moving with my emperor here uh the divine masculine he's not rising okay could be because of spell work that was done or uh self-sabotage for yourself uh but whatever these dark energies and even if it's spell work and black magic it's like you know what i can't allow that to hinder me i have to take responsibility for myself of my own depression my own sadness because it's making me very unstable and i need to give to myself okay you need to get off this path divine feminine and walk away from things of the dark that are dark the moon that's illusion that's hiding of your path and your future to plan for your future so divine feminine is really really getting serious this week i love it i love it really powerful goddess energy high priestess energy coming in you know your power divine feminine i wouldn't be surprised if i'm gonna pull a star seed card for you divine feminine because i'm really feeling there there is um a huge emergence that is happening here with divine feminine let's see What is coming through for Divine Feminine Spirit? She's recognizing her worth. She's recognizing... Sorry, I don't know why half of these are... She's recognizing a lot of her gifts. She's finding herself. She's realizing that there's more. Something has revealed itself to you that you're realizing there's just a lot more coming in with this shadow work and how you've been manipulated too, which is awesome. And you're taking your power back. You may have been having active dreams. Yeah, look at this active dreams spirit is saying the universe speaks to you through your dreams so you've been getting messages divine feminine about making choices for your freedom here by staying conscious in your thoughts you guide your journey in the direction of choice so you're like yeah i'm making choices for myself i'm putting myself back i'm doing things for me and my and spirit is saying your dreams and your psychic abilities and your intuition is picking up and you're going towards freedom follow your heart and nurture your soul with love and freedom to grow you're not sitting in um these darker energies and that's why they're not getting at you as well especially with that magician in reverse 
that's the manipulation. You're ending your pain about that, okay? So you're coming out of the three of swords. You're like, yeah, screw anybody that's been doing that stuff to me. I am like not allowing it to happen. So let's see how divine feminine is towards these union energies, towards the masculine. Yeah, she's holding temperance and balance. Look at this. She's alchemizing. She's harmonizing earth and water and with the heavens about her own instability her own finances where she has not been meeting herself in the 3d world so she's integrating into the 3d world and healing and following destiny wow divine feminine and you're releasing all of this volatility all of this anger whatever is coming up it's beautiful you're flowing you're allowing it it's pulling your masculine back into his innocence to speak to spirit and finding the high intelligence of the masculine energy and him and his toxic ways and bringing this awareness it's really beautiful really beautiful putting the end to the old you know the ego and all of those things so let's pull some star seed cards for your masculine as well really beautiful read this week guys you know, um, a lot more focus on Divine Feminine here, but it's good. It's really good. Let's see what's going on with Divine Masculine here. Spirit's pulling it back, you know. And one more. Wow, Inner Alchemy. Wow, 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 wow. Look at this, how you guys are mirroring. Free spirit. See, you're both wanting freedom from whatever's held you back, even as Black Matter, whatever it is. You're like, I'm done. Both of you are done. To be a free spirit is to float without walls, to fly without judgment, and to love without conditions. Look how you're marrying that, okay? Inner alchemy. Look, divine feminine with the temperance. Inner alchemy, masculine. Inner alchemy is achieved when you react to fear with love. So you're both marrying each other. Exactly. Okay. Creation, manifesting, fruition. He's creating now. Being creative is a wonderful way of witnessing the unfolding of your limitless creative soul. Fruition. Rest assured, your dreams and visions will come to fruition. So he's manifesting this. That's what I was seeing with that King and Cups um, in reverse here, that he has to become this independent soul to bring this back together. And he's completely aware of that. Uh, and so he's creating this and manifesting this in love. Live your truth and share the love that is in your soul. Wow, guys. Wow, wow, wow. Really beautiful. Let's get two more for Divine Feminine. <laughs> I feel like Masculine got five. Let's do two more for Divine Feminine. Yep, she's connected. Look at this. Channel Mother Earth Wisdom, guys. Gaia. Connect to the pulse of Mother Earth. She will guide you through this time of change. So Divine Feminine. We are the, the mother. The earth is a representation of sacred divine feminine energy. That's who you are expressing in your twin flame union. You are the earth. You are the expression of mother earth, right? And it is to connect with her and to honor her and to realize that you are the same because you come from her. You are her child. Channel. You are a channel through which healing energy reaches the world. So yeah, you got to channel this divine, this new level of divine feminine energy is really bringing up, you know, um, the choices of your dreams of how to make proper choices for your dreams to bring in this freedom to channel mother earth here. It's, it's really, really beautiful. Wow. Whew. That was a really good read. You guys, I hope you enjoyed that. I'm going to pull some final messages where are you pulling me spirit yeah let's do the star seed messages and we're gonna close off with that all right spirit what final messages do you have can we have one for divine masculine one for divine feminine and for their union energies please for this week what is going on with Divine Masculine and Divine Feminine. What is going on for the collective, please? What is going on with the collective? Thank you. What is going on for the Divine Masculine? Divine Feminine. Thank you. And for the Union Energies for Divine Masculine and... Sorry. Let's just do for the two of them coming together, please, Spirit, the one union energy. And what is bringing them together? Okay. So let's see what Divine Masculine is towards the Divine Feminine. You are not for everyone, Divine Masculine. Embrace your weirdness and face your true north. That's what he's doing. He's like, okay, 
I'm just strange. Like, obviously, he's come into awareness about this connection. He wants to create it. He's strange. He's different. He sees and experiences the world in a completely different way, and he's accepting it. He's surrendering to spirit. He's speaking to God. He's trusting those messages that he's getting because he knows who he is now. He's weird. He's not for everyone. No one's going to get me. And a lot of people aren't going to get me. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a whole different breed. I'm from somewhere else, and that's completely fine. Divine Feminine, look at this, loosen your grip. There are two people falling down this well, okay? Or it could be also rising up, however you want to take it. Coping mechanisms, density, addiction, let God in. So this is the walking towards your gates of heaven through this dark night, right? That we were talking about. And you're, this is masculine, and, and I hate colors and gender, but, and I'm not about that, but I mean, we got to read it as we see it right there's certain things in place in our world there's blue and pink so there's masculine and feminine energies and it's like you know coping mechanisms and addictions it's like i gotta let go of this to find this and there's a whole new level that's happening here that it's allowing both twins to come into a sense an ascension process and you know that because you're allowing it to flow here you're allowing things to emerge <clears throat> And what's going on here between the two of you is like all of these spirit guides, the seven star sisters, okay? Your birth and creations, tapestry of life and expression. The masculine is learning how to express the, the father, grandfather, creator, spirit energy. And the feminine is learning how to express Gaia's energy, okay? And this is what's happening. And it's about birthing the new expression to come into this beautiful union together. Oh my God, let's get some... Let's get some uh, love messages. I want to, this feels so good. Let's just get some final love messages, Spirit. What is this energy that you're bringing the twins together this week, Spirit? Can we get one for masculine, one for feminine? And, oh, this wants to flip, so I'm going to take it. We have romantic feelings and new love, okay? This is a new vibration of love that's coming in, okay? Let's see what's going on with masculine energy. It's masculine energy towards the feminine, and feminine towards the masculine. One more, because I think there's two. Okay. Okay. So, we'll have one more for masculine, because there's three. Thank you. Okay. So what's happening is the union energies is like there's romance blooming. There's a new vibration that's coming in. It's really beautiful. Masculine is saying I'm worth the weight. I'm figuring out the spiritual stuff, religious factors. Okay. He's keeping an open mind. Who he's meant to be with is completely different than what his ego ever told him. It's going to be completely different. So um, he's looking at these two women here. He's like, hmm. I'm very analytical. I don't. <laughs> I, I, I. He's not. He's very serious. He's like, hmm third party situation is like it's not going to be who i usually pick and your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path so he's coming into there's this crown look being ready to come down and crown and it's like he's realizing i'm weird i'm different i'm a free spirit i have to create this this is different um and i have to follow this path i have to follow you know i may not have believed any of this but he's coming into some kind of awareness about it He's also saying, I'm worth waiting for divine timing. So divine the divine masculines hold the divine timing. They know when it's moved, when they need to move on the earth plane. That's how they build structures. So it's it's up to God, and the God will then channel that message to divine masculine of when to move forward. He'll know. He'll know. It won't, you know. Um, oh, this page of wands came out, getting off the old path. So that's interesting. I didn't notice that before. Um, divine feminine. <laughs> I just notice it now. We're getting off the old path. So Divine Feminine here, true love, keeping it easy, pay attention to red flags, signs are cautioning you, so you're learning discernment, you're learning about energy, you're learning about what's good for you, what's not good for you, you're pulling your energy back in, you're becoming very strong in connecting with mother energy, feminine energy, you know, um, gaining that understanding of when things aren't good for you, it's really good, so that you become more free in yourself. It's like that bird, those birds that were talking, the parrots, you know, you're like, I'm not playing into that anymore. This is true love. You know it. You've always known it and you're holding on to it and you're, you're allowing, you're not like clinging to it, but you're like, oh, yeah, this is where I'm, I'm on this path and I'm just going to keep moving forward. I'm going to be lighthearted as I do it. 
All right, my loves, that is your reading for this week. Really beautiful energies. Again, don't forget to like and subscribe. If you enjoyed this, email me if you want a reading for this month in June. I still have openings. Uh, I can send you the options of what I am offering. And yeah, I'm sending you so much love. I would love to hear your comments on this as well. Bye, guys.